So when you're putting them on the board, there's a few different ways you can do this. I usually uh, just staple it, or you can use like thumbtacks. Um, so just make sure you're, you don't really want to stretch it, you're actually just forming it, but you're just going to get it formed nicely and uh, staple gun ain't working. So I found a different staple gun because that one wasn't working, but what you do is you take the, uh, you just can staple right there and right there. Just staple it so that it's kind of taut. Um, I did the same thing over here and then I'm going to trim these because I don't want them to be flopping around. And then back here on this side, do the same thing. And then when you, the tail just hangs like that. Um, the other thing you do is you're supposed to round off the right here. Um, I'll show you. I'll do that quick and then show you. So I'm just going to round this off. Um, usually you just come up here somewhere that looks nice and uh, round it off something like that. You can tell when they're dry because they kind of get a little bit of a scratchy and a, a crackly noise to them. So this is a one that I already pulled off uh, that other board. And then what you do to finish drying them is reach inside them like this, crinkle it up and uh, just slowly start turning them. I just go probably six or eight inches at a time. And they'll, they'll start to turn pretty easy. And then you leave the legs on the inside, so. When you do them skin side out, the legs stay out like that, but when you do, turn them like this. You leave the legs in, and then that goes back on the board. I'll show you that in a little bit. So I thought I'd show you guys uh, the coyotes that we killed this year. We got... Um, Six right here that are ready to be tanned. Those are all dried. We got these two right here that are almost done drying from yesterday. These two are uh, drying and they'll be turned probably in the morning. And then we got, there's four of them right here hanging that got to be fleshed still, combed and fleshed. And then this one still got to be scun. Um, brushed and fleshed so that's 15 coyotes I still got quite a bit of work to do but we're getting there so here it is our 2014 2015 coyote kills from this season there's 13 of them thanks for watching